Hello! Today I'm demonstrating the Synopsys Designware IP prototyping kit for HDMI 2.0 TX controller with an ARC software development platform. This kit provides the essential hardware and software elements needed to reduce HDMI 2.0 TX IP prototyping and integration effort so you can start implementing the IP in an SOC in minutes. The kit includes a Synopsys AHAPS DX FPGA-based prototyping system with pre-configured IP and SOC integration logic, a HDMI TX5 daughter card, simulation test bench, reference drivers and application examples. This kit also includes a Designware ARC processor-based 32-bit software development platform running Linux. Here is the AHAPS DX FPGA-based system HDMI TX5 daughter card and ARC software development platform. The kit includes two SD cards. The first SD card includes HDMI 2.0 TX controller IP and associated SOC integration logic to plug into the HUBS DX platform. A second SD card, which I will plug into the ARC software development platform, holds the HDMI reference drivers and application examples that run on the processor platform. The HDMI Phi TX 2.0 daughter card allows you to connect the hardware prototype to real-world devices like this monitor. The two boards are connected with a high-speed interconnect cable that represents the AXI tunnel. All IP development kits are compatible with most software development tools, so software engineers can start driver and firmware development in their preferred environment. To see the HDMI 2.0 TX IP in action, I'll connect the HDMI cable from the HDMI TX5 daughter card to an HDMI input on the LCD. I can easily operate the Linux console from the software development platform peripherals like a keyboard and mouse. I'll install the HDMI TX driver into the Linux kernel. The driver is now installed so I can run the HDMI TX application. The tool contains all the logic and programming sequences needed to bring up the HDMI TX controller and PHY. With the reference application included in the IP prototyping kit, you can apply several sets of configurations. For instance, you can configure the video mode, the audio, the HDCP, and open the SCDC command menu. By default, the application automatically configures the HDMI TX based on the HDMI features. Let's configure the VIC95, which is a 4K HDMI video mode. Here you can see the current video mode configuration, which is a VIC16 1080p HDMI and the new video mode configuration parameters as we are about to apply. Here is pattern reflecting the video configuration we applied. The video configuration activity is originated by the software development platform in three steps. First, it reconfigures the video encoding, second, it reconfigures the video pattern generator, and third, it sets the proper HDMI TX link configurations, exercising the PHY to output the pattern going through the cable to display on the monitor. Synopsys provides this application example and related source code within the HDMI TX 2.0 IP prototyping kit so that designers can modify update or even create their own applications to suit their needs. The IP prototyping kit allows you to quickly and easily explore many different scenarios. As you can see, this kit works fine out of the box. However, designers can modify the IP configuration for their own applications using a set of tools for a fast iteration flow. This flow uses the Synopsys Core Consultant tool with a simple GUI interface to change the configuration generate RTL and verify the IP integration using the simulation test bench environment provided with a kit, all in about one hour. Core Consultant allows designers to change or select the configuration through a simple GUI. This intuitive interface guides you through the available options for fast reconfiguration turnaround time. When you are finished, clicking Apply generates the RTL. The IP prototyping kit includes a Protocompiler DX intuitive GUI interface used for design synthesis or tickle scripts to expedite the process and complete the placing route. Once the design is modified and reloaded in the SD card, you can check key internal signals and status registers. 
The IP prototyping kit comes pre-instrumented to capture relevant signals using deep trace debug. This capability gives designers the ability to view several seconds of waveforms to speed up debug interactions. This is done by taking advantage of 8GB DRAM on the Hubs TX FPGA based system. The DRAM captures RTL waveforms that can be viewed on popular hardware debuggers, such as Synopsys Verdi or most other waveform viewer tools. After you've completed your software and hardware development, the IP prototyping kits can easily connect through an AXI tunnel to a HAP70 platform, creating a large SOC prototype. You have seen how the Designware IP prototyping kit for HDMI 2.0 TX provides immediate productivity for both hardware engineers and software developers. Thank you for watching.